Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing uh, all right. Hope everything's good. For those of you in the non-power areas like me, um, fun, good training. Anyways, uh, <clears throat> these are our challenges that we face, you know, when there's power outages that you do not get a warning over. I personally talked to some of the um, Edison guys, it's the company in my area, face to face and they gave me the scoop stuff like that but they still had no warning they were shutting them off as the winds got more severe anyway we've been out for about a day and a half now and they're talking four days with no power right now i don't have a gen but whatever it is what it is but trying to find power is uh interesting jack in a box mcdonald's they both run gens they remove their 110 plugs from inside so you can't charge your devices anymore. Kudos for those guys. Anyways, I uh, tried the park and limited power there. Only the facility office, like bathrooms, have lights. All the 110 plugs outside are all turned off. So no power there. So now I'm using my car. In a little bit, I'll be hooking up the Goal Zero to charge the rest of the devices. While there's sunlight. For lighting sources, we were using battery operated Christmas lights. Solar walkway lights are great as well. And obviously me, Mr. Prepared Guy, a ton of flashlights and backup battery banks, which I already had pre-charged. And since we got wind of the power outage, I already filled up the vehicles, you know, pre-charged everything like I just said stocked up on water, etc., stuff like that. If you are in the power outage areas to get warmth in your place, depending on what size your place is, find the biggest pot of water you have and a lid and boil water. It'll heat your house, especially if you have laminate or hardwood floors, it's going to get kind of chilly. And for your dogs, if you have fur babies, make sure you put blankets down so they can lay on them because they get cold too. But anyways, the battery-operated Christmas lights, battery-operated Christmas lights, the double A's or triple A's, those things are awesome. Uh, Nebo, I picked up about six of those lanterns. Nebo makes a lantern. It's uh, 250 looms, has a spotlight and a lantern and a, I don't know about the bug zapper thing. I'll do, I'll show you guys that later, but I'm using it at this point in time. Anyways, so I got that to light for my neighbors and I got six of those Nebos. And there's two light levels. The first light level is a high intensity that lasts for six hours. The next one is a 24 hour lumen, uh, lumen lasting light hour. Wow, I don't know what I'm saying. But anyways, on the lower setting, you'll have light for 24 hours. I've tested it and so far it's good to go. So it gives a little bit of a light source, a little boost of morale, stuff like that. So that's what we're working with guys. Um, Food wise, I'm probably going to, you know, we still, the stoves are still work. You just got to light them with a lighter or the stove tops, the ovens I'm not screwing with, but the stove top, definitely you can light it with a lighter as long as we have gas, which we do. You got to watch out for debris when you walk around. Uh, someone's punching bag from next door flew and hit my place, actually hit my gas meter. I had to call the gas company out. They came and fixed it anyways. So you got to watch out for stuff, watch out for your overheads. You know, debris, like I said, falling, trees falling. Clear your roads, help out your neighbors. And I'll stay tuned, guys. Like, subscribe, comment below. Talk to you guys soon.